Hi there, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince and welcome to another tea brake repair on this ZX Spectrum Plus 2, the 128 model with the built-in tape deck here. So when I was younger, I had the 48K one. It was a black version, came to around here and not the rubber key one though, the one that came after that. But I do remember one of my friends had this one here, I think his grandparents bought it from a year or two after I had the 48K. So I haven't actually used one of these since I was a child. So I look back and I was thinking, what games did I like? And of course I like things like Akari Warriors, and California games and stuff but one of my earliest memories of playing on this was a game called Bruce Lee so I thought I've got to get Bruce Lee and give it a go now this is a tea break repair because I think actually it's going to be quite simple so it might be a bit of a boring repair but there is two things wrong with this so if you have a look here in the tape deck surprise surprise because of the age of it it's no longer working so if I press play I can hear the motor moving but there's nothing happening there but yet weirdly Oh, well, hold on a minute. Earlier on, when I tried that, fast forward and rewind did work. Right now, nothing's working. Okay, so that's not working, but I think that is just going to be probably belt related, unless it's some kind of direct drive. And the other thing is a very minor thing, but still, all the keys look to be nice and they work nice apart from this key in the corner here and can you see it's at a lower level than the rest and it shouldn't be because it's the same key as that one there the uh, symbol shift key doesn't feel nice these all feel good but this one doesn't feel nice let's get started okay now we have got what looks like six screws around here Why is this not coming out? Oh, here we go. Right, okay. Oh, well, there we go. That's the belt. So we've got a massive chip down here with a heat sink on it. Ribbon cables. There we go, and this, we're free. Okay, well there you go, that's our problem there. But we have another belt here. Right, let me get my pack off thingy belts. I've got a load of uh, what looks like hospital tape here now I wonder whether I wonder whether there's been a bit of work done on this or is that original Amstrad Allen Michael Sugar Trading there you go date code 60730 that doesn't mean anything to me right so we need to get a belt for there let's have a look at the keyboard let's undo all these These screws here just seem to be spinning without coming out. So I'm wondering whether this has had a, a bit of a repair. I wonder whether it's been stepped on. Here we go, this is gonna come out. So if I take off the tape, it should all, uh, all come out. Here we go. Nice. Got a little scribble here. Hmm, I don't think it means anything. Oh, we've got a broken little post there. Oh, look at that, we've got a big bow in it. Yeah, we have got a big bow in that, haven't we? All right, well, we'll try to uh, look at that. That really is banana And that's why, oh, hold on. And I suppose these are not gonna go into here. Oh no, they're snapped. The posts are snapped here and here. That's why. Oh, and that little poster snapped there. Okay, well that makes sense now. 
Yeah, so uh, the tape has definitely been put in it by uh, a previous owner. Let's try to take out this frame. I think I'm going to have to try to hold these here because otherwise I don't think I'm going to be able to get this out. There we go. Got another little one here. Here it comes. Right, okay, we have a little bit of uh, what looks like water damage there. But we will be able to straighten that up now, won't we? I didn't even notice that when it was in its case. There we go. Think that'd be all right. So now we've got the membrane. Well, this is lovely and easy to repair, isn't it? Right, and here, look at all the dust. Ooh. Look at that all. Right, I'm just going to get a vacuum and clean this up to make it slightly nicer to work on. And then we can find out what's the matter with this key down here. Uh, you can see there now, look, if, uh, well, you can see it's not being pushed back out like the others. It's like the spring's completely gone on it. In fact, where is the spring? There's no spring on that. So what was it doing before then? Oh, so it was just pressure on the membrane, so I need to get a spring for in here. Look closely. Can you see there? Spring, spring, no spring. So obviously that spring snapped off. Maybe when the keyboard was stepped on, it might have been stepped from there or something, you know, to cause the bends. Right, okay, I've just given that a quick little clean up and uh, I've got a spring set here. Let's see if there's anything suitable. I actually bought this for the revisit video off the reel to reel player, the Bang & Olive someone. And I've got some uh, MG Chemicals Rubber Renew. I bought some belts. I still haven't bought the capacitors because I need to take it apart to find out what capacitors I need. So I need to uh, get myself sorted and get that uh, revisit video done. Right, okay, I don't think any of these are gonna be suitable. I'm gonna to have to do some chopping down. That might be suitable if I chop that one up. Let's have a look. So I need to take out two keys and then see what, the, uh, see what they look like, compare them to each other. So it's this one that's faulty. So it looks like there's a little clip here and here. There we go, that came out nice. And let's take out the key next to it as well. Then I can see what spring it has. There we go. Right, springtime, so we need something like that there. No, see that's too, uh, too strong. Oh, this might be, this is better. That's better. So even though I've got a box of assorted springs, there's still not the correct spring for here because none of them are quite wide enough and they're all a bit too strong. But anyway, I will be able to make this work. What I have to do is just try to widen it up a little bit so I kind of uncoil the bottom couple of uh, convolutions just to widen them up a little bit. And then also I've got to make it weaker. So I do that by chopping it roughly in half and then stretching it out and trying to bend it back into a spring-like shape again. Uh, when I do this, it's a bit of trial and error, so I chop it and then test it, chop it, test it a little bit more, but I get to the uh, stage where I'm happy. It's still harder to press than the other springs, but 
I don't think anybody would notice unless you were to tell them that that actual key is different. Obviously, you would be able to buy proper springs for this. I'm just making do with what I've already got here to hand. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit stiffer and it doesn't make the right sound, but uh, it feels okay. Obviously, the main thing is that it works and it springs back. And I can't see why that wouldn't work. Right, okay, that's uh, that bit done. Now, let's pop this back together. So I'm just giving this little wipe down to get rid of the remaining dust. And then I just need to put the back bit back on. That's now been straightened. It clips into place. All the keys are working nice. So we have to remove all this tape from the other side. And now we've got to do something with these little screw posts. So I'm going to use super glue to do the bottom of the posts. And then I'm going to use super glue activator because I don't want to hang around for the next 15 minutes. And then I'm going to use Q-Bond here to try to build up around the post, just to give it a bit of strength. It's not going to be as good, obviously, as it was before, but hopefully it might, it might help a bit. I'm using gloves because super glue just loves my fingers. And I can feel that that was the original home there. So I'm going to hold it down and spray. Right, this one I know is from here because I can see it's got a little bit of, uh, it's got like where the post sticks up at the side here. It sticks onto that as well. So I'm going to put glue all around there. And this one's just going to break instantly, but I'm going to put it on here just because I'm doing the others. So whenever you wear gloves, you're guaranteed never to get super glue on the gloves. But the very time you don't wear gloves, you're guaranteed to get super glue on your fingers. That is just the way it works. So the super gluing is now done. The best bit here is the super glue activator. It is amazing because you don't have to wait around for ages even though super glue does set pretty fast any little wobble on your finger and it just seems to break again while with this stuff spray it on it's just instantly hard uh now it's the cubond bit this is like a two-part thing that has like a powder and also some kind of glue activator stuff so i'm literally just sprinkling it around the edge of the post to try to build up a bit i can't go too crazy on it because it still has to fit into the keyboard so it's kind of like a locating post as well as where you screw into but i can definitely put a good few millimeters around the edge uh, at the very bottom and that will hopefully just give it a little bit of strength it will never be as good as it was originally but it should be better than just super gluing it so that's what i'm doing in now and then we just have to put the keyboard back in screw it together when I'm screwing it back in I'm going to do it gently because I don't want to go too tight because chances are it will just snap the work that I've just done right okay whether it's going to last the test of time I really don't know but it's certainly stronger than just putting super glue on it so you can see now that I've kind of built up a collar around them right let's pop the keyboard back in and then we can worry about the belt. Right, belt time, let me just get some belts. Now, where does this one go? I think I'm gonna change that as well, because that's kind of, uh, looks a little bit misshapen. So in this bit I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the dust that's lying around the place and then I need to try to get two belts to match 
the same size as the ones that came off. Now, obviously, you would be able to buy these belts online. I presume you would be able to anyway, and they would be the perfect size. But I have a big bag of assorted belts here, and they tend to go up, I think, in one or two millimeters. So I'm going to be able to find something that's very, very similar. I don't want to go too tight because that could put strain on the bearings, but I don't want to go too loose. Otherwise, it's not going to operate properly. So the small belt just needs to go under the big wheel and to the black wheel on the right hand side, the smaller one. And then the big belt needs to go on the big wheel to the motor. Now, looking at this here, when I first of all got this out of the box, bearing in mind, I have had this sat here for over two years now. It did fast forward and rewind. I only did it for a couple of seconds. But then when I press play, it didn't play. So I'm thinking the belt must have just broken at that moment there because how would it fast forward or rewind without the main big belt going from the motor to the big pulley? That's what I'm thinking anyway. So uh, yeah, I do find two belts that are close enough in size. I suppose you could argue one might be a tiny little bit too tight because it looks smaller than the one that came off. But remember, the one that came off has snapped and it probably stretched as well over the years. So uh, yeah, just doing that now and then uh, we can put it all back together and we can test to see if Bruce Lee is going to work his magic again. Right, while I'm here, I'm going to clean up the little pinch roller and also the tape head as well using some isopropyl alcohol. So we've got to pop in these two ribbon cables. And this one here. Right, let's plug it in. Okay, let's see now if it's gonna come on. So there's no actual on and off button on here, there's just like a reset around the side. First of all, let's have a look if uh, it's gonna, uh, this, if this symbol shift button's gonna work. So let's go down to calculator and let's do two, symbol shift plus, yes, yeah, because otherwise it's K, right? So that's working. Delete. I'm so used to delete being over here now. Uh, plus three equals five. Right. Times, where's times? Times 50. Excellent. Well, that symbol shift button is working and so are uh, all the other keys because I tried them earlier on. Right, let's escape that. Or how do I get out of that? Break, break. No, let's just reset. Now let's see if this is fast forwarding. Yes it is. Stop. Rewind and play. Oh did you hear that? Right okay let's uh, rewind it to the beginning. And oh no hold on one second. Yeah there we go. Oh so it hasn't got auto stop. Now tape loader. Play. Let's see if it's actually going to work. Do love those colours. There we go. Oh. oh, look at that. Bruce Lee. Oh, I really remember that blue and yellow one. Oh, that's going to bring back lots of memories to lots of people. Right, I presume it's going to take a good three or four or five minutes. That's what it used to take, I 
from memory. So let's, uh, I'll come back to this. I'll, let, I'll, I'll just fast forward through this bit. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Well, I can stop that now, can't I? Fast forward it to the end of the tape. Yeah, there we go. Right. Here we go. So, enter to pause. ZM to punch kick. ZR. I thought that would be space. ZM. Okay. Uh, QA. Yeah, I remember that. And OP for left and right. So, I've got to do... Z or M. Well, I used to do it with my th right hand thumb, so I'm going to do M. I wish that was space, because you can find space a lot easier than uh, than M. But anyway, here we go. Oh, we're in. Ah, oh. how do I? Oh, that's it. How do I do it? No, 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 no. So I've got to get these lanterns. That was good. When you go to the next screen, it gets rid of the baddies. Oh, and I remember that big one vividly. Whoops. Look at this, it's all coming back to me. Muscle memory. How do I just uh I'll punch. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's just easier to fly and kick. Right, well, I won't subject you to my gameplay for uh, for hours on end. It is a tea break repair. So there we have it all done and working nicely and hopefully we'll keep working for many years to come. Maybe it could do with a recap and then if it was recapped I'm sure this thing would still be here in 30 years time. For those that are curious, the switch is still working, the talking clock is still working as well. Hopefully this will keep working. If you enjoyed the video give it a massive thumbs up and I will see you all very soon. Take care. With my lead bits Could be hard or it could be a cinch Can you fix it? My own oh my At least I'm gonna try Try, 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 try. try.